strong. Defense Security Cooperation Agency under U.S. Department of Defense issued a report and I quote, The State Department has made a determination approving a possible foreign military sale to the government of the Philippines of scout, assault, and light support boats with armaments and related equipment for an estimated cost of $126 million. The Defense Security Cooperation Agency delivered the required certification notifying Congress of this possible sale today. The government of the Philippines has requested to buy 156 M240B 7.62 by 51 mm machine guns. Also included are 36 units 9 meter scout boats, 36 units 10 meter assault boats, 18 units 16 meter light support boats, 36 units of forward looking infrared 280 high definition, 24 M2A1.50 caliber machine guns. 36M134D-M, 7.62x51mm 6 barrel rotary Gatling guns 399 NFS-NVG-IR lasers AN-PVS-14 and AN-PQ-15 102 handheld thermal imager scope 210 heavy thermal weapon sights AN-PAS-13 90 Harris Falcon 3 RF 7850M radios, 270 Harris Falcon 3 RF 7850S radios, boat spare parts, spare engines and engine components, safety and rescue equipment, training, contractor engineering technical services, engineering technical assistance, transportation cost services, and other related elements of logistics and program support. The estimated cost is $126 million. This proposed sale will support the foreign policy and national security of the United States by helping to improve the security of a strategic partner that continues to be an important force for political stability, peace, and economic progress in Southeast Asia. The proposed sale will improve the Philippines' capability to meet current and future threats by force multiplying the Army's present ability to operate and control both inland and coastal waterways of southern Philippines. The Philippines will have no difficulty absorbing this equipment and support into its armed forces. The proposed sale of this equipment and support will not alter the basic military balance in the region. The principal contractor for the scout and assault boats will be Willard Marine Incorporated, Anaheim, California. The principal contractor for the light support boat will be determined through an open competition contract. There are no known offset agreements proposed in connection with this potential sale. Any offset agreement required by Philippines will be defined in negotiations between the purchaser and the contractors. Implementation of this proposed sale will require the assignment of one additional U.S. contractor representative to the Republic of the Philippines for a duration of five years to provide maintenance and logistical support. There will be no adverse impact on U.S. defense readiness as a result of this proposed sale. This notice of a potential sale is required by law and does not mean the sale has been concluded. And of Max Defense Philippines also issued statement regarding this project and I quote, This is related to the Philippine Army's Riverine Operations Equipment Acquisition Project, which appears to have been expanded and now involves U.S. foreign military sales to include other requirements of the Philippine Army. This means that the Philippine Army has also packaged parts of their C-4I Star project, as well as the Thermal Imaging Device Acquisition Projects to the Riverine Operations Equipment Project. Since Defense Security Cooperation Agency already posted it, it means the U.S. Congress was already informed about the proposed sale, and if no objections was made, it would be approved by the U.S. Congress. And